One of the biggest challenges with AI music is control, actually shaping the output instead of just rolling the dice. Udio has been working to solve that with tools that give you more creative input. Their latest update, Sessions, introduces a DAW-style editing space where you can extend or swap out specific sections and test multiple takes of a line. It's a really fun way to build songs with more intention. I'll cover the whole platform, how Udio works, how to shape a song from start to finish, and how to push it as far as it'll go. Naturally, I had to test the limits. So I combined sessions with the style reference feature and changed the genre every 10 seconds just to see what it could do. And the results turned out awesome, so I ended up turning it into a full music video. But before diving into all of that, I want to rewind a bit and show how I usually start. So I have two main approaches, but both begin with fine tuning the style. For this project, I reused a lyric concept from a previous video. They're from the perspective of a frustrated Pac-Man ghost stuck in the game. I originally paired them with an electronic sound, but then I thought the ghost turns blue before getting eaten. I should make it a blues song. I came up with the title, A Different Kind of Blues, and reworked the lyrics to match that vibe. Now here's the final style prompt I settled on. Modern electric blues with raspy male vocals, gritty tremolo guitar, deep bass, and minimal drums. Swampy, dark, and soulful. And when I'm writing style prompts, I usually include the main genre, vocal style, specific instruments I want to hear, and then a few vibe descriptors. There's no right way to prompt in Udio, but that's the general structure I go with. Next, I click custom so I can input my own lyrics. For a 30 second generation, around six lines is what fits well depending on the tempo and style. Or in this case, I asked for an intro, so there's just four lines. And down in the advanced controls, you can tweak even more. Set the length, adjust tempo, use negative prompts for things you don't want, and a few other options. I'll leave all that alone for now and hit create. Now let's take a quick look at some of the other blues styles I explored while refining the style prompt. Blues can go in a lot of different directions. So here's a raw Delta Blues version. In a maze I roam night. And shadows, no in on sight. I go left, I go right, but I can't bring to just a restless soul. To then I had a more slow, smoky, lounge style blues take. Been amazed, I roam all night. Chasing shadows, no end in sight. I go left, I go right, but I can't break through. Just a restless soul, nothing to do. Yeah. Those vocals are so good. And I had a few others. In a place, I walk all night. Chasing shadows, no end in sight. I go left, I go right, but I can't break through. Just a restless soul with nothing to do. Each one brings something different, but the version that really clicked for me was the more modern rock infused one with that like gritty guitar and heavier drums. Gave the track more bite. Enough edge to match the mood of a ghost trapped in a never ending game. And like I mentioned earlier, I have two main approaches. The first and definitely is the easiest is that once I've got the style dialed in, I just generate the full song. Then I'll jump into sessions for any touch ups. To do that, I'll drop in my refined style prompt. The other option is to switch over to style reference and drag in a previous version I liked, but I'll stick with the prompt for now. I will show pushing the style reference feature later, jumping from genre to genre throughout a song. But next, I paste in the full lyrics. Then I scroll down to advanced controls. Switch the length from 32 seconds to two minutes and 10 seconds. Then tweak any other settings if needed and hit generate. So I'll play a little bit of this version it gave me. I go left to go right, but I can't break through. Just a rescue is so nothing to do. I got a different kind of blues. Not the kind you ever choose. I like this one a lot, so now I'm ready to bring it into sessions. I can either click the three dots and choose Create, Start Session, or I can open up the track and click the Start Session button right here. 
Inside sessions, the full waveform is laid out with each section labeled, and I can play it back to see how it sounds. Then at the bottom, you have different options for editing the song. I'll click takes, and now I have the view with all the lyrics on the right. I also have options to extend or replace. As I listen, I can find spots where the lyrics didn't come through clearly or where the phrasing just didn't hit quite right. Um, there's a section right here where the line is supposed to be a restless soul with nothing to do. Just a restless soul with nothing to do. That's not quite right, so I'll drag the handles to highlight the section I want to tweak and hit replace. Udio will generate two fresh takes for that part. Then I can listen through to see which one I like better. Just a restless soul with nothing to do. I got a different kind of blue. Just a restless soul with nothing to do. I got a different kind of blue. So both versions got the lyrics right this time, but I like the way the first one hits. Just feels a bit more natural. So I'll leave that one selected and click like. So that's locked in as the new version for that section. You can repeat this process for any part of the song where you want to make changes, fix the lyrics, change the vocal phrasing, add a bigger drop, swap in a different guitar solo, whatever you want to tweak. I'm not gonna play the entire track here, but I've made it public and dropped a link in the description if you wanna check out the full version. That's approach number one, fine tune the style and generate the full song and make small tweaks where needed. The other approach is to take an initial 30 second generation I liked and bring it into sessions, then build the song out section by section. This here is the one that I liked, so I will use that to start a session. I just click extend. Over on the right, I'll add the next part of the lyrics. This is the chorus, which has six lines, so that's perfect. Then I hit extend to generate from there. And just like before, it comes back with two takes, so I've got two options to choose from. If I don't like either, I can generate again. And if the flow feels off, I might change how many lines I put in or tweak the lyrics a bit. Yeah. I got a different kind of blues Not the kind you ever choose I like this version, so now I could replace any small section within that if I wanted alternate takes on a specific line. I like it, so I'll move on and add the second verse. Then I just continue that same process through the next verse, chorus, the bridge, whatever structure I'm building. Once I get to the end, after I click extend, I can use outro so Udio knows to wrap things up properly. You can add an intro the same way. Overall, this method gives me way more control. I can shape each section exactly how I want before moving on and make sure everything fits together as I build. It's harder to go back and fix something like a chorus after the full song is generated, especially if that chorus appears multiple times. And once the full track is done, I can download it. Again, I'll drop a link to the full song down in the comments if you want to hear it start to finish. For this next one, to try to push the limits, I thought it would be interesting to generate a song and try switching the style every 10 seconds or so, just to see how far I could take it. To set that up, I started by generating a bunch of 30 second clips in different styles to fine tune each one. I downloaded each of those and I'll be using them as style references inside of sessions to see how well Udio can match and transition between completely different genres in the same song. Also for this one, I had ChatGPT generate the lyrics. I just described the idea and let it come up with something weird. This is just an experiment. Now, out of all the genre tests, I really liked this one as an intro. I start as so Whispered flame, a quiet voice, no face, no name. He that is perfect, so I'll open that up in sessions. Now, I want to switch the genre before it gets to the end of this. I want it to be more like 10 seconds in, so I can actually shorten the whole song by dragging the end in. I'll drag it to just a couple beats before the end of a measure, give it a little bit of space to work with. Then I'll click extend and add my lyrics over on the right for the next section. All right, I've got this weird sort of like glitchy electronic song I wanna use for this next style. Now I'm still with a so yeah, super weird. I'll select that file for the style reference. Then there's a style strength slider. I'll leave it at 80 for this one and it should retain the original vocalist instead of changing it all the way. Again, it comes back with two takes. Now I'm still a brain. That second one starts off too boring. This first one is awesome though. Now I'm still a shattered brain.
So I'm gonna keep that, and now I'll shorten the song again to line up the next transition point. Then I hit extend and drop in another lyric section. Now this time I wanna completely switch it up and go full country. So I select that one. Then I'm gonna push the style strength all the way up to 100%. Based on some of my earlier tests, that should completely switch the vocalist and style instead of just blending them. So let's see how it handles a jump that extreme. Here's the first one. Neon flash. Not bad. Neon flash. In a country town. I like that one, it just kind of jumps right in fully. So I'll go with that second option. Honestly, it's crazy how smooth it can pull off a switch like that. So I will shorten that, then extend to the new section with some new lyrics. Now this time we're gonna go from country to metal. Perfect. I'll select that one. Let's see how this goes. And um, this time I'll do it at 80% to see if it can do a little bit of a blend between the two. Some country metal. I'll say that was a pretty smooth transition. Let's try number two. I just I I my soul to match the chance. I really like that one, keeping a bit of the voice from before, but with the screams over the top. I'm gonna go with that one for sure. I did film the rest of the process, but you don't really need to see all of it. It's just more of the same. I kept switching styles in the same way from metal back to the intro vibe, then into some rap, then back to metal again, and finally returning to that intro style for the outro. I ended up just loving how this song turned out, so I decided to throw together a quick music video for it. Midjourney just launched their new video model, which I've been testing for a video I'll post in the next few days. For this, I used it to create a long, continuous shot of a character walking while the environment transforms around her to match the music. I used the extend feature in Midjourney to generate long segments, and then I used cling for the transitions. I gave it start and end frames to bridge each style shift. As the song progressed, I just reacted to what the visuals were doing, prompting for her to start running, jumping, or triggering explosions when it felt right. I was building it out on the timeline as I went, just improvising based on what looked cool. It was honestly a really fun process. I didn't go overboard trying to make it perfect. You know, it's just a bonus visual for the end of the video, but I think it turned out pretty cool. The other thing I did was upscale it using Topaz Lab's new creative upscaler, Astra. It's basically like the Magnific for video. It reimagines the details as it upscales. This was my first time using it, and honestly, it's an amazing tool if you're doing anything with AI video content. Anyways, that was the process. Here's the final video. I start out soft, a whispered flame, a quiet voice, no face, no name. Now I'm still a shattered wrench, a static buzzing beneath my skin. Neon flash in a country town. Feathered coat and sequin cram. I just I trap. I bust a brace. I bend my soul to match the chase. I'm fish and twanged. I'm velvet Every sound another shape I take. Bits and dick and fresh drip take on jazz I'm trap, I'm boss to breathe up in my school to match to bring in people side to yeah. head a thief. They try to box me in, I flip a skate. Feel before I'm every time like a glitchy tape. High bands I break, I'm shadow and flame. No tad, no shot, I don't lock, no name. I trap when I dress, I match, I slide. I turn out so a fading spark, a voice once loud, now lost in dark. You leaning close, 
It's far too late. You never knew the shape I take. I think that song turned out awesome, and honestly, it still blows my mind how far we've come with AI music in such a short time. Sessions is a brand new feature in Udio. They will be adding more functionality over time. So it's still early, but this is already a big step towards giving creators more control and flexibility. I'm excited to see how it evolves. And if you want to go way more in depth learning AI, on Futurepedia, we have over 20 comprehensive courses on how to incorporate AI into your life and career to get ahead and save time across all sorts of different disciplines. You can get a seven day free trial using the link in the description or check out this video that will take you from zero knowledge to building your first AI agent. That's an incredibly valuable skill to have.